All right, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, uh, Earthmaster here, jumping in on live stream with a quick uh, update here on this June 13, 2021 date, about 9.51 a.m. West Coast time um, with the latest quake on the globe, a 2.5 out there around the Puerto Rico area. Um, right now, the big story is some activity taking place in and around the San Andreas Fault System. We've seen a significant increase in earthquake activity um, outside of the swarming area. The swarming area down here south around the Salton Sea area on the Brawley Seismic Zone, right at the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. But uh, overnight, uh, we're looking at a major increase in activity in and around the southern uh, section, specifically of the San Andreas Fault. Look at all this broad movement right around it. Now, this is not significant earthquake activity, but uh, a lot of microquakes, a lot of them. And we haven't seen this before. Uh, and you look at the general picture overall in this area shows the regional seismic increase in activity all throughout the Southern California region. So um, if this isn't in the triggering zone of possibly creating the big one down on the San Andreas Fault, I don't know what is. Um, I know, um, you know some seismologists and stuff like that talking about the swarming down here how it's uh, still a couple miles away from the San Andreas Fault. Well, that's not the case today. Uh, the case today is pointing at um, a drastic increase in activity on the San Andreas Fault and around it, on each side of it, west and east, right? You got the Pacific Plate here to the west, the North American Plate to the east. And that's some significant movement there taking place in this general area. Uh, definitely something to watch today. Uh, for some significant movement, possibly. Um, we did see a little bit of earthquake activity into the north here, 4.1, striking uh, the geyser region. This area is, uh, it sees a lot of earthquake activity, a lot of geothermal activity there. Um, and so this is not out of the norm uh, for earthquake activity in this region. We start seeing some uh, a bunch of upper fours and maybe some fives, and I'll be worried about uh, what's going on there. But uh, that's just typical normal behavior in the geysers along the creeping section. A little bit of further micro scale micro microquake movement, um, but uh, overall the big picture, folks, is the Southern California region. Uh, we did see a little uptick in earthquake activity across the Indonesia area and down through Solomon Islands into the. Uh, uh, Kermadec Trench area, but nothing significant, nothing big at the moment. Um, and also a little bit of further movement down there uh, around the Guatemala area, um, north of San Salvador. Uh, they did see that uh, 5.4 last night, and uh, looks like uh, some uh, a little bit of earthquake activity following it. Nothing big, uh, just 5.4 being the uh, main, uh, hopefully just the main quake down there. But uh, Southern California, be on guard, folks. Um, looking at um, this general movement right here, <clears throat> I wish we could. I wish that fault line would not disappear. There's the San Andreas Fault. That's the dark red line. You can see all the movement around it. Some like some looks like it may be specifically on it or very very close, very close. Uh, but when you see this movement on the east and west side of it, it's kind of just it's playing with fire. You know, I, I would not be surprised if we've seen something significant happen today. And it follows it all the way up here to the uh, the northern part of the southern extension. Central extension further up north a little bit. Um, but we're looking at activity on both sides of it. Uh, and that's not, you know, that's, that's not good. Definitely uh, some, some uh, potential there. Uh, what else we got here, folks? I'm just I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that pretty closely today. Um, I do have a couple stations pulled up in Southern California. Uh, Mammoth Lakes is one of them, and um, what else we got here? Barrett is a station down around San Diego area, um, and I think that's uh, I think that should cover it. I might I kind of want to get a closer station to the. Uh, um, where all these swarmings going on, but it's kind of hard to access the uh, data coming from those uh, seismograph stations. But I will, I will try that here in just a second. But just wanted to give everyone a heads up. Uh, a lot of movement taking place there, uh, in and around the San Andreas Fault there in the southern section, and uh, be on a guard there, Southern California, for uh, potential movement today, uh, especially with all that, uh, all that uh, activity around the region. 
All right, folks, we'll be out here kind of monitoring and uh, standing, standing by. Have a good day, folks.